No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefit of, or be subject to discrimination under any educational program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. In 1972, on June 23rd, as part of the Education Amendments, a law called Title IX was enacted by Congress and signed into law by President Richard Nixon. This law changed the athletic and sport world. Before 1972, female athletes were confined to very few options for athletic activity. Many who were interested found their way to GAA, or Girls Athletic Association. Well, truly, I've played sports all my life, but we didn't have sports when I went to high school. We had GAA, and we played, we had uh, Miss Hedner, Fran Hedner, who loved sports, and she loved girls playing sports, so we were very fortunate here at Brainerd High School uh, to have somebody who cared about us participating, even though we could never do anything for real, you know, but we played against each other. Women played sports, but it was not facilitated by an official organization. When I was in college, we played basketball, three dribbles, only six people, I mean, players played on only one half the court unless you were a roving player. I was a roving guard, so I got to play the whole court, all right? And then I went to the university and I played intramural basketball. And I asked Belmar Gunderson at that time, why can't girls play sports? We're doing it all the time anyway. And she said, we're working on it, Joey, but it's gonna take us probably another five years, which it did. In 1972, Title IX of the Education Amendments was passed. Title IX um, is, everyone thinks it's strictly related to sport, um, but it's actually, a, you know, a, it's related to all different things. It's education, um, sport. It's basically it says that no person shall be discriminated ba uh, based on their sex. Um, and so, in terms of sport, what it did was it allowed more, more opportunities um, for girls and women to participate. People ask, "Do you feel badly that you weren't allowed to play sports?" And the truth is, no. You know, I. I feel it was a waste of a lot of good athletes' lives, but I played all the time anyway. I talked to a friend of mine today, and she grew up in another town, a very small town, and she loved playing also, but kids made fun of her. Girls made fun of her, called her a tomboy, wouldn't let her be part of their group because she was playing, she played Little League with the boys. And, they, and she said, I was picked on a lot because I like sports. So I was lucky. I came from Brainerd, the town that loves sports. Now, women play sports as often as men do. The sporting world has diversified, and almost every single sport has options for both women and men. Over the past, what, 50 years, which is amazing, it's been 50 years already, um, you know, sport is now just like a norm. A lot of girls participate. Uh, it's, you know, I know when I, I know when I was growing up, I didn't think twice about having the opportunity to play. I didn't really understand what Title IX was. I didn't really understand how big of a deal it was. Um, it's just kind of become like, hey, it's it's kind of a, a privilege to have the opportunity to, to play a sport. And so many girls and women get, get that opportunity now, which, like I said, we don't really think twice about. I've met so many new friends through Warrior Athletics. Um, through the tennis team, through the softball team, and through my swimming through the Y. Warrior Athletics have empowered me. They've given me sports to play and teams to be a part of, and I've met so many people and made so many great relationships while playing Warrior Athletics. Warrior Athletics has empowered me in that I was able to be put in a leadership position, uh, which will help me in the future in many things, um, and being able to make friendships that will last a lifetime. It has enhanced my life by being able, by giving me the opportunity to appreciate that every girl, woman can do. 
whatever she wants to do in every area. My message to young female warriors participating in activities right now is to keep working hard and never give up. Just do the best you can and if you need help there's always a team behind you. And they're your friends, they're your family, so you can always lean on, on, on them. Um, always try, give your 100% every day um, and enjoy every moment of it because it doesn't last forever. It's a marvelous thing. Title IX changed the world.